Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to estimate quotients of real numbers. Now, as you know, when it comes to quotients of real numbers, you're really dividing uh, real numbers going forward. And in terms of estimating answers, you want to kind of put it in some proper context. So, for example, if you have 14 over 5, you know that it's not going to divide evenly, but you want to kind of put it in some proper context. You know 14 over 5 is going to be less than 15 over 5, which as you know is going to be 3. So you know that 14 over 5 is going to be a number that's going to be slightly less than 3, if you want to think of it that way. Now, something else to consider is if you have, let's just say, 100 over 11. Now, that's going to be compared to 100 over 10, which is going to equal to uh, 10. Now, because you're dividing by 11, you're going to be dividing by more pieces. So the understanding here is that 100 over 11 is going to be less than 100 over 10. So basically the idea is 100 over 11 is going to be a number slightly less than 10. So when it comes to estimating quotients for whole numbers, what you want to think about is see if you can't compare it to some kind of a quotient of whole numbers that you know is going to come out to be whole as well, and then take it from there. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and those are some strategies on estimating quotients for whole numbers.